Hey guys, it's Sarah Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have something different for you. Um, I am heading over to my friend Kelly's house to do a project for her guest bedroom. She is thinking of doing a cool arch wall um, for a desk to get pushed against. And then we're also gonna try out a DIY for painting fabric that I learned pretty recently. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, friends. We are in Kelly's guest bedroom, and she had a fun idea to do a cool arch wall. How would you explain it? They call it a arch wall. <laughs> so, an arch wall <laughs> um, in this little area where she has like a vanity set up. So, let me show you that. <laughs> okay, so here is, uh, this is the guest bedroom. So, here's the little vanity, and then we're thinking about doing the little arch that's gonna go right here. So, <laughs> I can see Kelly. Um, but it's gonna be probably like, what is it, terracotta? Is it more terracotta or more pink? More pink. She picked out like a little pink that's gonna go here. So, it's gonna be fun and kind of modern looking. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. I think my, I am just going into this pretty cold turkey, but I think I'm gonna take um, a pencil attached to some string and draw a circle around it with a midpoint and then just like tape off sides going straight and then paint it. So uh, let's see how it goes. So basically, I just put a thumbtack here and then attach this uh, pencil to a string and then drew a circle around it. I'm now erasing um, the circle that I drew, but here is the arch. So it comes up to here and then curves around. So that part is what we're going to use. And you can see it like all in here. So um, that's the shape of it. It is a little bit shorter than the windows. Um, and it is going to frame up this little table right here. And this is off center, so it should be matched up. So I'm about to start painting, but I wanted to show you the color. This is the color, so it is a little bit, it's pinkish. It's definitely not white. It is oops paint, which, you know, we love an oops paint. It is, yeah, I don't have a color on it. That is the color, so we will see shortly and uh, see if my lines turn out well. You get to follow along. another day at Kelly's house. There's Kelly. Okay, so today we are doing a different project. I did do the arch wall, which was fun, um, but I will show you how all that turned out um, in a little bit. So we have these curtains, I think, are these Roman shades? Is that what they're called? I'm pretty sure they're called like Roman curtains. Basically, when you put them on the window, you can just push them up and they stay like that. Um, the sellers left these and they're a little bit dated. Um, we have this style, and then there's another one that's kind of like, what would you say, like gray and black? Yeah, it's dark. Also with like Florida de lis on them. So the thought is, I watched this video one time on how to paint fabric. And um, basically, you just mix like half seas paint, like regular paint, with fabric softener, and then you apply it directly to fabric. So we just figured, Instead of trying to buy brand new window treatments, um, let's see if this works. <laughs> and then it could be like a really affordable way to go. So I have some paint already on hand um, that I got. It's Oops Paint. This is 250 so we bought that. And then one more color for the darker ones and some fabric softener. And we are going to go about trying to paint these. So here we go. 
Okay, so here is the fabric softener that we got. We would use this truly for nothing else in our lives rather than painting, because um, it is poison. Okay, and then I have this one. This is a tintable chalk paint, but it is like latex based, so I think we can use it. And it is this light beigey color, which I think will go with this color scheme of the room. So. Um, we're gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna take it and mix it in a paper bowl, half and half, and then start applying it on here, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, it's smelling like a cheap Airbnb up in here with this downy, <laughs> but I mixed it up. The fabric softener actually came out blue, but it seemed to mix in well. So this is the half and half consistency right now. It's like soup, and let me try out brushing it on the fabric. Let's see. We'll give it a go. Okay, it seems to spread on pretty well. You definitely still see the pattern in it, but maybe it won't be as exaggerated once it's painted. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> turned out um, with a coat of paint. Um, I think they turned out pretty well. So this part you won't see because this goes up. So that's the contrast between what it was and what it is now. And I think against like some of the whites um, in the room, it's going to look really bright and nice. Okay, on to the next. These are the curtains that we are painting now. And we're doing them a darker color like this. I forgot to add that one of the first steps is to take some fabric softener that's mixed with water and put it in a spray bottle. So I'm gonna spray this around and uh, get it pre-soaked. Also, we have the windows open now because we can't breathe. <laughs> so here is how the second set of curtains has turned out. Obviously, these are still wet, so that's why you see them kind of um, in varying colors. You can definitely still see the pattern through it, but compared to what it was before, it's definitely looking a lot nicer. Um, I'm curious if we should do another coat that's like a little bit darker, but anyway, progress update. So we have, ooh, we have these airing outside because uh, we can't quite hang with the, the scent. <laughs> But um, yeah, these are gonna dry out outside, but this is how the gray turned out. Honestly, I think they're pretty cool. What do you think, Kelly? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, so um, they turned out pretty nice and they're gonna go in an another office against like a darker wall. So yeah, the, uh, the fabric softener hack does work. <laughs> the end. <laughs> All right. Here is how it all turned out. I think this looks super awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, when I was painting this, um, you could hardly see the contrast because the sun was going down, but here in the natural lighting, I think it looks really nice. Um, and yeah, I would recommend um, definitely taping it off, but I didn't have the tape, so I just freehanded all of this. <laughs> um, but you can definitely do it if you have an angled brush. It just um, you just cut it with the brush, if that makes sense, and you can um, get the angle right. And then, as far as these curtains go, um, I am pleased with how those turned out as well. You can definitely, if you're looking up close, you can still see the pattern that was there before, um, but the texture of how the paint turned out, um, I think is really nice. Now, I will say, just as a fair warning, like, please beware that if you don't like the smell of uh, a fabric softener, then it will haunt you. But if you don't mind the smell of it, or if you have the chance to like air them out ahead of time, um, then this should be a pretty easy DIY for you. All right, guys, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing part of Kelly's house and the cool arch wall and painted fabric tutorial that we did. Um, if you try it, let me know. I think it's definitely um, something pretty clutch to know how to do and keep in your back pocket. So if you find any cool furniture with weird fabric, 
Now you know you're not stuck with it without having to reupholster it. So anyway, I'll be back next week with some new content. And uh, other than that, y'all make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. See you next time. Bye. What a wonderful